On today's menu, a recipe so flavor packed, it'll be a little nutty not to try it. A delicious coconut milk braised tofu. Lei Ho Man, as it's going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. You're in for a real treat. Actually, I think I'm in for a real treat. I didn't have to develop a recipe for today's episode because we're cooking out of some other YouTuber's cookbook. Let's begin. Wrap a 400 gram block of extra firm tofu with some paper towel. Then press for 10 to 15 minutes. Slice down the extra firm tofu into small squares. I personally love extra firm tofu as it has a robust texture and it does really well to absorb whatever flavor you put to it. Gently press down on the tofu squares with a paper towel. Sprinkle over some salt. Large nonstick pan. Medium high heat. Three tablespoons avocado oil. Very carefully arrange the tofu slices in a single layer. Cook until a nice golden brown on the bottom layer, about five minutes. Very carefully flip over the tofu slices. Allow the other side to cook to a nice golden brown, about four minutes. Spread the tofu onto a plate lined with some paper towel. Pestle and mortar. One tablespoon coriander seeds. Roughly crush the seeds. It will release an exquisite aroma. Medium sized saucepan. One 400 ml canned coconut milk. Half cup soy sauce. Quarter cup cane sugar. Crush two stalks of lemongrass. This will help release that beautiful citrusy flavor and aroma. Finally chop the lemongrass. About a one inch piece of ginger thinly sliced. Four pieces of garlic peeled and crushed. Optional three Thai chilies for that extra spicy kick. Simply remove the stems and slice in half. Quarter teaspoon ground white pepper. Add in the crushed coriander seeds. And one cinnamon stick. Medium high heat. Bring the sauce to a boil, stirring occasionally. Reduce the heat and simmer for 7 to 8 minutes. Add the fried tofu to the braising liquid. Give the pan a stir to coat. Simmer gently, stirring occasionally for about 35 minutes. That is looking and smelling just extraordinary already. I was thinking about what to serve this with and I think I know just the person to ask. Will Young, Le Homa, how are you? Did you get a copy of the cookbook I sent you? Nisha, I did get your cookbook. In fact, I'm making the braised tofu recipe right now and it smells extraordinary. Hey, I was actually thinking about a side dish to make. What do you think? Oh, good question. I love that recipe. The sauce is so flavorful that I feel like you could go really simple with just a sauteed or steamed green vegetable, whatever you have in your fridge, bok choy, green beans, broccoli, all of that would be great. That's awesome because I always have broccolini in my fridge at all times. But hey, your new book weighs more than me after Christmas Day. How long did it take you to write this and where can everyone order this? <laughs> Good question. People can pre-order it now. It comes out on September 3rd and if you go to bigveganflavor.com there are lots of options. And yes, it is, it is a beast of a book. It's over five pounds and it took me two and a half years to put together. So it's a long time in the making. That sounds amazing. Hey, the sauce is just about ready. We'll definitely chat again soon. Yes, please come to San Diego. Would love to have you cook with me. I'll talk to you later, bye. Remove the sauce from the heat and let it cool briefly. Plate some freshly steamed jasmine rice. This recipe is good for three to four portions. Spoon over the tofu with that delicious sauce.
sprinkle over some white sesame seeds and some fresh Thai basil. I'm serving this with some beautiful blanched broccolini. You can now cook through Nisha's cookbook with absolute confidence. That smells just amazing. My goodness, Nisha's recipes make mine look like child's play. Seriously, the flavor of that sauce is just extraordinary. It has the perfect balance of sweetness, it's coconutty, it has that heat, that spiciness from the peppers, and it's shaped with this irresistible, sticky, sticky, thick, that really changes the entire personality of that tofu. The fresh Thai basil adds the perfect combination of lightness and aromatic lift to that spicy, sweet sauce. When the sauce is simmered for that amount of time, it really intensifies all of those incredible components like the garlic, the ginger, the crushed coriander seeds, and a little bit of that cinnamon flavor from the cinnamon stick. Served over a bed of fluffy white rice and a side of green beautiful broccolini, you have yourself a delightful meal that's rustic, simple, yet has complex flavors. This is so good. For more information about Nisha's amazing cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out. Or for more information, or grab your copy of one of the four Young Men Cooking cookbooks. I'll also leave another link in the description box below for you to check that out. Or you can visit youngmencooking.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so, so that we can cook together again in the next episode.